Hello again! Because there is no evil the last 100 years, this series of videos too is coming to an end. As I promised, we'll round off this section with other reporting verbs. So, may the force be with us. Alright, so we've already learned how to report statements, basically with say and tell, questions with ask, wonder, want to know, commands with tell and order, requests with ask and beg, and suggestions using suggest. Good news is you already know more reporting verbs than you use in your own language. Yay! Not so good news is there's still loads of reporting verbs that we can use apart from the ones I just mentioned. As unfortunately, we don't have the time to deal with them all, I've chosen a top 10 to look at together today. Anyway, let's get down to business. Today, it's of course important that you understand the meaning of the first sentence so that you can pick the most suitable reporting verb. But you also need to know the grammatical structure or structures that can follow the verb that you chose. We'll see how to use the verbs that I've chosen by means of an example to set the context and we'll look at the different structures that can follow each of them. This time, my friend Lil KK from Texas will lend us a helping hand. I miss KK so much that I think I can still see her face when I remember some of the things that she told me when we last met. I'll be your next special guest if you want to. KK offered to be my special guest. Absolutely not, Anna. I won't do any animal impressions for your students. KK refused to do her animal impressions for my students. Anna Banana, believe me, I didn't make that noise. KK denied making that noise, or KK denied that she made that noise. The seagull made that noise, not me. KK blamed the seagull for making that noise, or KK blamed the seagull for the noise. Come on, Anna, come visit me in Texas. Your monkeys are gonna love it. KK encouraged me to visit her in Texas. Anna. You've got to watch Las Chicas del Cable. Seriously, it's awesome. KK recommended that I watch Las Chicas del Cable or KK recommended watching Las Chicas del Cable. Don't forget to let me know when you post the video. KK reminded me to let her know when I post the video. I think you should try yoga or meditation. KK advised me to try yoga or meditation. Or KK advised that I should try yoga or meditation. Well done, Anna. I'm so proud you got this new job. KK congratulated me on my new job. Or KK congratulated me on getting this new job. Anika, I'm sorry I've been a bit MIA lately. KK apologized for being a bit MIA. Apologize can also be followed by a noun, so if she said something different, we could say she apologized for her mistake. Cool! But before we call it a day, let's check how much you've learned today. You already know how this works. You've got 10 seconds to change what Anya and Ellen say into reported speech. No way! I'm not eating this steak! refused to eat that steak. Mom, I'm sorry I let my coach at school yesterday. Yay, again, that's off. Alan apologized for leaving his coach at school the day before. Good, so... As for the rest of reporting verbs, here's a chart for you to take a look.
Now we can say we're done with reported speech. I know it's hard to believe, but it's so fun. I hope you now feel a bit more confident about using it. See you soon for more delicious grammar. Because as you know,